Hey guys, what's up? It's Sebastian here at Leaning Man Attraction. And in today's video, I want to share with you an experience that one of my clients has had with his day game and his approaching. So after speaking to this client and him telling me that he is, you know, not afraid of approaching, he is confident, he picks up the girls and he gets their numbers and they don't actually text him back or the text and is very boring and platonic. I actually investigated his approach style and what he actually does. And what I found out was that he was actually making very common mistakes that a lot of beginners make. So because he wasn't approaching a lot of girls, he did not know what a good approach is and what a bad approach is. And you know, a bad approach can still result in an Instagram or a number but it means that it's not gonna be a solid when you text a girl and she might actually not text you back at all so she may have given you the number simply out of politeness or she was trying to avoid a you know negative situation of rejecting a guy and the awkwardness that comes with it so what we found out was that his approaching wasn't as good as he thought now the key to good text game is a good approach if your approach is good, then your text game is gonna be a lot easier to maneuver. If your approach is kinda of weak, and you know there are a lot of mistakes that you're making in it, common mistakes that beginners make, then your text game is gonna be very hard to maneuver because the girl is either not gonna text you back, or she's gonna text you very platonic, very short messages, and it's gonna take a lot of time for her to actually respond. So she's not gonna be excited about texting you, and she's not gonna be excited about meeting you. So that is what a bad approach is, essentially. If you can only pull the number from an approach and it's bad, it's a bad approach, then the girl is not gonna come out and see you. If it's a good approach, you'll notice that your text game becomes very simple because the girl will be very engaged, she will flirt back and she will send fun, playful messages and little teasers. Well, the first thing that he was doing was he was texting the girl too quickly and he was trying to close too quickly. So if you try to make sure that the girl, you know, says, yeah, let's go out on her first response, well, it's probably not gonna happen. You're gonna have to build a little bit of attraction, a good vibe with the girl while you're texting her, and then transition to logistical situations and taking a girl out on a date. Now, if your approach is really good, then this will be very easy for you because the topics that you have talked about with the girl in person, you can transfer to your text game. So any inside jokes, any fun stories, anything that the girl has told you, you can relate in your first few texts to make the interaction and the vibe positive. And then once the girl actually starts texting you a lot very quickly and she is very responsive, then you can ask her, what's your view on drinks and what's your banter? So don't actually start asking straight out, you know, do you want to meet on Saturday? You want to ease it in. You want to do it slowly, okay? And that way you're not putting any pressure on the girl and you're giving yourself some space if the girl says no, she's not actually available on Saturday. So you ask her what her views are on drinks and witty banter and if she says, yeah, I love that idea, then you can say, well, what's your schedule like in the next couple of days? And then if you give the girl an option, you know, let's say a Friday or a Saturday, you know, if she's busy on a Friday, she can say Saturday and she doesn't actually have to say no. And that way you can actually start to make the entire situation very, very smooth and very easy for the girl to say yes to. So what to take out of this video? The thing that you got to focus on is having a good, solid approach. So just having confidence and just going up to the girl and getting her number doesn't necessarily mean that she is totally interested. And even if she's not, you can still maneuver the text game in a way that is not needy, that is confident, playful and fun, that eventually is gonna get you that date if you just give it time. So don't pressure it, don't look needy, okay? Take your time with it and eventually the girl will come around if you show high value text game and if you show high value behaviors in your approach. If you take a misstep in your approach, then the text game is either not gonna happen because the girl will not respond to your text or it's gonna be very hard to get the girl out. She's gonna keep making excuses about being busy, not having the time. And that way you're gonna have an uphill battle to actually show your high value behavior and show her that she actually is just missing out on a fun date with you. So guys, remember the key to good texting is a good approach. You have a good approach, text game is easy. You have a medium approach, 
the text scene becomes a little harder. You have to work on it a little bit more. If the approach is bad and the girl gives you a number and you know it's bad, if it's short, if there is no sexual tension, if it's awkward, if you're stuttering, you know, if your eye contact isn't that great, if your tonality isn't level and you show low value behaviors so you're not holding your frame, then your text game is gonna be non-existent because the girl is probably not gonna to respond to you. And if she does respond, it's just gonna be a very simple, hey, what's up? And it's not gonna be going anywhere. All right, guys, if you found this video informational and useful, do subscribe because I've got a lot of content like this coming out to you very soon. You know, I've got a lot of infields that I'm editing at the moment that I'm gonna be progressively putting out for you guys to actually see my approaches. And if you wanna see my approach right now, check out one of the playlists on my channel and see for yourself how it's done. All right, guys, see you in the next video.